Hi everybody, good morning, it's Jean here. I have my friend Jen. Um, today we're going to be talking about something new that both of us have started. Um, we went to the quilt show in uh, Pennsylvania uh, a little while ago, last month, and both of us, we, uh, we had shown it at the very end of one video, some of the goodies that we purchased. Yes. And what we got is both of us were really intrigued by this sort of art of collage quilting. Something that I've actually done to a certain extent, but then we figured out that what I've done is like 1.0 of collage quilting. And I'll explain that. What we both did is we purchased these patterns. Now these patterns are by a woman called Laura Hine. And in the collage world, I've no, I'm noticing now on my Facebook groups and in fabric stores, this woman, clever, clever, beautiful artist, Laura Hine, um, has made these patterns of these collage quilts. Now a collage quilt is basically what we did in kindergarten. We, mm -hmm. We're cutting out images. Used to do it out of magazines. Yes. Cut an image out Cut and an collage it together. And exactly. Else. Exactly. And um, now Jen, who bakes cakes, is a baker. Mm -hmm. She was attracted to this, uh, to this quilt here. That. Now it's very busy. Yes. Speak up. So yeah. they had. Okay. I'm gonna. Excuse me. I'm, I'm gonna just turn this over to Jen because I'll. I'll say that I've not open. I've not even opened up my pattern. I've been busy. Jen has embarked on this, and she's going to explain exactly what her process has been and what she's learned from the pattern. Okay, so when we went to the show, they actually had quilts hanging up of each yep. of the patterns, and they were slightly different from the pattern, mm -hmm. because obviously when you do a collage quilt, it's always going to be a little different depending on what fabric you're cutting right. out. You might not always have the exact same fabric, if, even if you make the same pattern again. So... The quilt that was hanging was a lot less busy than this. Yes. They used a white um, muted background. Um, I think I took a picture of it with my phone. And the cakes really popped on that lighter, less busy background. There are how many cakes? Uh, 11 cakes. I there think. are 11 cakes. Six, eight, ten, 12 cakes, if you include the cupcakes. So I I liked the, I've, I've been wanting to do, yeah. in my mind, I've pinned a lot of like, trying to find how to do a cake quilt and I couldn't really find it. So when I saw this, I wanted it right away because I'm like, oh, the pattern. And then you can see like, this is kind of a better picture, but you cut out individual flowers and put them on. So mine isn't gonna look exactly like this because I don't have these fabrics, um, but I can find similar fabrics. So the instructions are really designed for people that don't want to sew as much. Right. It's not, it's sort of a, a no sew method of making a wall hanging, perhaps. Yes. So there's um, two different products you buy, which we didn't. We I didn't buy them. You trace it. You trace this pattern onto one of the products, and then it seems like there's a transfer that you are basically ironing or transferring the fabric onto this now new pattern that okay. you have. Okay. I didn't do any of that. So I took my pattern, which is at home, unfolded it. And it, it was one sheet, one sheet. Okay, with, yes. the, with the twelve cakes, cakes. on it, yeah, okay. and the exact size of this okay. here, which and this quilt would end uh, would make up a forty three and a half by seventy, so right. forty three across seventy down. Yeah. So what I did was, um, I put a light like underneath my pattern, and then made like a light box. Made like a light box, kind of, and would just lay the fabric on and and cut it out kind of to size. Okay. So I wasn't exactly. She's very um, artsy and whimsical with like some of her cake stands, right. and I want it more of like a symmetrical look. So I did change it and slightly a, and a little bit more subdued. Yeah. This is very much a collage, which a collage is. Um, more, her patterns I'm finding is like an explosion of pattern and color. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But beautiful. just not what I want it in my head completely. And, and I, I believe it or not, I like a little bit more subdued myself. 
Yeah. My pattern is of a girl, of a woman uh, with a beautiful dress coming out, but she's put it on a very busy background. Beautiful. But I would prefer, which I'm going to do when I put my thinking cap on, is to do my girl on a more subtle background. The photograph that I took at the quilt show, she was on a black background. Yeah, it really popped. And it really popped the girl. So whatever your look is, the collage quilting um, is just a, an explosion of fabrics that you fussy cut. Yes. Okay, now. So that brings us to step one. They sold us on the scissors. Now let me tell you. Which I wasn't, I wasn't, yeah. I'm like, eh, they're scissors. They're scissors. But Jean knew. I, this woman was a, an excellent, not pushy at all saleswoman at all. She was lovely. She was saying, well, if you're interested in it, I would highly recommend these scissors. And at first I'm thinking, ah, oh, I'm looking at them, and then I turned it over, they're $28, $27.99, yeah. and I thought, ooh. I've never paid that much for scissors. Yeah, that's, yeah. Th that's, you know, a bit pricey. But these are called, these are from Karen K. Buckley. They're called Perfect Scissors. The, and uh, the, I, I got them also. These little scissors here, they come with a, uh, they come with a little. Because uh, they're so little, sharp. They're very, very, very sharp. And they have, when she said it, I thought, why? They have a serrated edge. Now I'm thinking a serrated, see yeah, a serrated knife that you cut bread with. And I'm thinking, uh, oh, I don't think I'm going to like that lady. But here, when I was looking at them and when I was using them, a micro serrated blade. Oh my word! It, they, the, the serrated blade, the edge keeps the fabric from slipping, so your cutting is more accurate and helps to prevent frayed edges. You can cut four to six layers of cotton fabric easily. What we are doing is we are taking a piece of fabric. So like here's you have so, one. Yeah. I have one, Jen has one. Now, I might not be attracted to this piece of fabric. Jen's not really attracted to this piece of fabric. Yeah. But what with collage quilting, all of a sudden you you deconstruct the fabric and you went you go, "Oh my word. That image right there. This little piece right there is fabulous." I want to use that on the side of my cake, or I want to use this green leaf. So, handy dandy scissors, you start cutting out this image here, and the scissors go, these so scissors close. go shockingly close. You can snip to the edge, which you don't usually do with scissors. You just, you just cut out, now obviously I'm not being incredibly precise, but boom, I have a perfectly cut out leaf. Yeah. And you can sit watching Netflix, watching television, cutting to your heart's delight. It becomes addictive. It's very addictive. You just want to cut and cut and cut and cut and isolate images. So isolating images on fabric. Now, also what they had was without yes, without um without buying tremendous amount of fabric. Again, we addressed it at the quilt show. Yeah. The, this lady who was, who was sort of like into this, the booth was about these, pretty much collages. about collages. Yeah. And it was a new booth at the quilt show. Awesome booth. She was saying, oh, I, again, don't want to sell you anything. Because it was a little bit expensive. Yeah, $30. $30 for this. 40 But it was, um, it was all fabric, 10 or 12 inch squares, about 12 inch squares of pre-cut fabric that you would never have thought to buy. You could, yeah. I mean, if you had to buy a yard of this, it would be 200 yards, you wanted dollars. Yeah. It was just all these bits of fabric that, again. But that you could easily isolate, isolate. for this and, type of fabric. And so this small piece of fabric, you could get out, you could get out 20, 30 little flowers, yeah. leaves. So do you understand? You don't need that much fabric. But the, fa so they actually And you sold. might only use three and save this for another project. Exactly. And you just have, which I have done. So Jen has started her cake quilt, but I want to show you, I started, I, I've not started my quilt, but I started cutting out my images She's also. So I have, I just sat, I just sat, and, and there's, there's little flowers, and as, as Jen was saying, it is absolute, there's a big one. You can cut little ones, you can cut small ones. There's a little tiny heart. Here's a little, a little bit of greenery. Now it may not make sense. But it will. But it will. Now, what I have done, and I was telling Jen what I was doing, I've made three collage quilts, I think. I made my bicycle, my recent one with my little birds, 
I made my little mermaid quilt. We'll just address those two. I've done my videos on it. But what I've done is my little mermaid, perhaps, say, the mermaid was printed on a piece of fabric. Yeah. I just cut out the mermaid. And I glued and raw edge applique her onto a background fabric. And then I cut out, um, like, batik fabric that looked like coral reefs. And I cut out from, uh, I cut out fish. Yeah. That, you know, and I made this collage quilt. That's like the dumbed down version. What these are is you're actually taking a, a, an image and you're, with all different fabrics, you're making the skirt. I don't know if that, if, explain it. Like if, it, if, if I was making a mermaid quilt, mm -hmm. I would have cut out all red, say for her, her flame hair. Yeah. I would have cut out all reds. And, and all greens and, for the tail. And all and greens shimmery. and shimmery blues. Yeah. And I would have made with all different, that. yes, I would have constructed the tail out of all different blues. So you get it. So what I did is I just cut out a bird out of my a bird image mm -hmm. on my bike. I cut out a pretty bird. I cut out a pretty little butterfly, glued it on. What we're doing with this is we're creating the image with a million different pieces of fabric. Right. Now your cake is a little bit more tailored because your cake yeah, well, and this, the actual cakes on the pattern are, I mean, a cake is a square or a circle. Right. So you got to start with that. Well, you you're starting exactly. with blocks. And then you're adding on basically how you would decorate a cake with icing. Right. That's what you're collaging and adding right. on and the plates and stuff. So I've done two, I'm calling them blocks because what I did was, is I took a uh, one piece of fabric, laid it over the pattern, and then cut out a block where each cake would be. So when I sew them back together, it's going to make that single right. piece of fabric. Now Jen chose a gray for her background, Actually. and so I had the first. One there's her first block. Isn't it, it beautiful? Needs to be iron. So excuse that. Beautiful. But. So she has a pink cake and all of these flowers, and then her cake stand. Awesome. And these were like this was different from this fabric, which was different from this fabric. So this came from probably six different fabrics. About six different fabrics. And then of course the cake. Right. And then what Jen has done, very ambitious, which I wouldn't do. Jen has actually satin stitched around each image. Now the pattern actually calls for basically ironing on and then quilting and then quilting it at the end of the day which i would i would have gl just glued this on i think i showed you with my last bicycle quilt with the birds on it my penny farthing my large bicycle i just glued my images on with elmer's glue stick and then i glued mine too but then i but did then she actually them. stitched around them which is awesome so she's done more of an applique collage quilt right whereas the pattern shows more of an iron on fusible web and then it's not meant to be finished finished like it's raw edge. raw edge yeah. which i prefer i like raw edge jen has gone one step further and done it awesome satin stitched it oh my word well and that came from if you remember our block party the heart we did yes so that in my mind was how i knew how to do it right and we weren't working on this together at the time right. so i thought oh i'll just treat it like our true love oh, heart, true, true love and heart. Right. make a cake a lot it. of a lot of work so there's one block on, yeah. her, on her black on her gray background and then this is my second one this is beautiful sparkly fabric now we were also talking about if this was going to be a wall hanging yeah why don't we bedazzle it um, we went to the quilt show and you know, we were like, oh my word, got to be dazzled with something. Yeah. yeah. So um, I still might do that. Right. Oh, that's what we wanted to ask. Um, the hot fix. Yeah. Well, I've looked it up on Amazon and uh, on craft shows. There's a hot fix pen and you sort of have to, Malia was here and saying that takes a lot of time. You take one crystal. Yeah. You, you put it on. You melt the glue, which is on the back of the crystal, and it affixes. Okay. Yeah, that's how it is. And then you pick up another one. Now, if anybody, have, if any of you have done that, can you wash them? Because yeah, we saw. Let us know. Let us know because we saw. Comment below. We need to know. Yeah, we yeah. saw a bunch of um, quilts which were bedazzled at the quilt show, and they were stunning. They were so beautiful. beautiful. And this would this would make 
Yeah. Oh my word. I mean, like, can you imagine piping in crystals and you know a floret with a uh, flower and crystals and yeah, a cake so stand pretty. with lovely crystals around it in different colors? I think I would bring it this really to life. But if Jen wants to use this as opposed to a wall hanging. We need to know. We're on a need yes. to know basis. If you, <laughs> if you would just like tell us. us. Yeah, help us. Uh, can you wash these things? I don't know. Or do you want to wash it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I think it would be fun though. That's our thing. We're, we're going to embark on fairly new, um, fairly new project for us. I don't know if this is a tutorial or just a learning thing, what you're following along with us in our sewing room. Um, I've started, I've just started a whole bunch of I can't wait to see of yours. images yeah I don't know yours yeah. is way more complicated than mine because you're all yours is gonna make one single collage where my, I'm really making 12 little collages yes you're making I'm one making giant one giant collage, which is one awesome. giant collage but I was thinking about it I was looking at this pattern and the 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 pieces the are is squares are squares that. You know what you were thinking? The bodice. I Not was. Flowers. I was. But why don't you do the skirt off flowers? I could do the skirt off flowers awesome. and change it up. If you go on It'll Pinterest awesome. and you type in Laura Hine or Facebook, you'll see tons, tons of her collage quilts, patterns. Oh, this pattern was $32. The patterns we each bought, yeah, they $32. Cheap. They weren't cheap. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and as, as I said, I think they're for our taste slightly busy, but you have to look past that busyness and, and just isolate something. And they and we didn't buy the thing that you need. You need another product. Two iron. products. You need two other products. I haven't even opened this. Jen has, she's more of the expert. Yeah. But Steam, we've sort of Steam taken- Steam two and <coughs> foundation. So the foundation is like a- uh, Oh, pattern ease foundation. You trace the entire pattern to Pattern East Foundation, and then you buy Steam a Seam 2. Ah. Oh, you said you would have had to have cut out another thing. Oh. I yeah, don't want to cut it out. Yes. Yeah. The, which is fine. Great. Laura, honey, you've done super wonderful, yeah. wonderful, awesome, awesome. But I just would rather sew than Steam a Seam. Than Steam a Seam. Yeah. And yeah. This That's is, all. We, we're more sewing than ironing on. But I get why she did it, because it attracts right. two sewers and non-sewers. Right, so this is an awesome non-sewing project. Yes. This is super. Um, this entire quilt is collaged. It is constructed differently from many other, from, from some of the other collages. Each cake is constructed first, and motifs for each cake are cut out at that time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's a little bit different than mine. Um, yeah, I, I just took a shortcut. Really. Yeah, you, so Jen just did a shortcut. Um, but if by all means, if you were, were going to get that, it tells you what you need. You need the pattern, pattern ease foundation, and then steam a seam too. And then you go from there. Mm -hmm. Um, but we've just sort of eliminated that step. I think I'm going to eliminate that step too and just do my own thing. But we did buy the pattern. Um, we're not cheating or anything. So I have all of these. All I of can't these. wait to see her. I know, I know. I got it. This is my next project. Um, I got my scissors, handy dandy scissors. Uh, Karen Buckley, shocking. Gotta yeah. get these. I think they're a must. If you're I gonna, agree. Yeah. And we're not about gadgets and gizmos. No, but if I would have done this with big scissors, yeah. I would have gave up after the Absolutely. second. Absolutely. And we, we had like sharp scissors. Yeah. Fabric we, scissors. We had cutting straight lines. We had fabric yeah. scissors. It's the going around the corners is what you really need. These you for. really, I mean, you, yeah. look at the, look at these little things. I mean, out of this yeah. came like, you can get see that little flower that little like, tiny right flower. around and, and in and yeah. out of all these little things they're amazing yeah, there is that a, little flower there is a tiny little flower yeah and it's perfectly cut and the the edges it's it's they're wonderful so i would highly recommend here you go i would highly recommend these scissors and um, these are our things this is my next i'll i'll, I'll put my, my this is my next um project jen's going to be back we'll show you our progress by all means look her up laura hine if you want to start Something really outside of your comfort zone, maybe. This is yeah. just, this is a, a little this different. Is a completely different. It's not yeah. blocks. It's it's letting the artist in you come out. come out. Yeah. And we're back in kindergarten with a nice pair of sharp scissors. <laughs> I liked kindergarten. Gluing. I know. I, oh, I didn't go to kindergarten. <laughs> you didn't. No, I went to first. I was I was I was in I was in first grade. I was the youngest kid in first grade. They didn't have kindergarten back then. Really? Yeah. I'm, wow. I'm old. <laughs> Long time I graduated ago. when I was 17. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I went to school first grade when I was five. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. So 
in first grade when you started cutting out these, <laughs> shut up. Um, now in first grade, they're doing algebra. <laughs> I know, I know. Common like, Core Math. My kids are way smarter than Common I Common Core Math. It's crazy. Did you see Jordan? No. His, his Instagram posts? Oh, no. Oh, about Common Core Math with Haley? Oh, no. Have you heard this? That? Real quick. Common Core Math. Oh, no. D didn't you have it with, with um? We had on um, everyday math. No. There's this thing called Common Core Math. Oh, My son again. has a second grader. And he... They, they bought, she bought home three page, three pages of instructions to teach the parent how, how to you, teach oh, okay. this math. It's shocking. It's, I mean, I'm like, where's common sense math? It's yeah. not like, it's not like. This is a penny. This is a nickel. Yeah, no, they eat the I know, cents. exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, so that's our, our new project. We're doing collage quilts. Grab a kit, grab some scissors, and start cutting out some fabulous shapes. Yeah. And we will keep you posted on our quilts. All right. See Thanks ya. a lot. See ya.